Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through my 2023 wish list and seeing what plants I got off of there. So there was 20 on my list when I made the video last year and I think I crossed off 10, which I'm pretty pleased with. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is read out my list and as I go, if I got the plant, I'm going to share that plant with you. So first up on the list is Monstera Esqueleto. So I did cross off Monstera Esqueleto from my list and I got a teeny, teeny weeny one from Grow Tropicals. Um, the, this top section that was propagated had actually snapped off without me realizing and it's in water, it's not rooting. I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna do the rooting, but we've got this bottom bit that really needs a drink. But hopefully what will happen is I will repot, put them together, get them on a pole, and we'll have those gorgeous Monstera Escalette leaves that I wanted. So next up on the list was Monstera Brody Marks Flame, which I did not get. <laughs> and I'm not at all surprised those plants are still incredibly expensive. It will probably go on to this year's wish list. Um, I'll be very surprised if I got it in this year as well. <laughs> the next one was a Philodendron Sugaricii, which I did get. I've actually give ugh, worse. I've actually just given this plant a shower <laughs> um, and a drink, so it's wet. I got the Philodendron Sugaricii. I got it from Equigenera. It was an import and i think it's doing really well it is in the grow tent and obviously the lights are above it so a lot of the leaves are facing the ceiling which i'm not happy about so i might end up moving it back out here the this is the newest leaf and i love it i still really love it i'm really glad that i did get it i think it's beautiful i love the ribbing it <laughs> It is on a moss pole, but you can clearly see that the moss is down here and this is the top node. So maybe I will do some chopping and chop and prop and grow a bushy one off a pole. Maybe I'll just give this one a better pole. Who knows? But I've crossed it off my wish list. Next up on the list was another philodendron and it was the philodendron patriciae which I also crossed off. So this is my Philodendron Patriciae. It's gagging for a drink. <laughs> it is so incredibly thirsty. I think it's only lost one leaf. So I have it kind of sat facing this way. So this leaf you don't see at the back. Um, but this was another one that I got from Equigenera. It has, I think it came with this leaf coming, I think. Or was it this one? I don't know, but it did, like this one was mostly pushed out in my care. And it does look like there is a new one kind of on the way. This has definitely been growing and swelling recently. So hopefully we will have another gorgeous leaf. I still really, really love, love these leaves. I love how kind of like fat they are and ribbed. I do definitely need to give it some love. I need to water it more. I need to clean the leaves up a little bit. I don't know what those markings are actually. Can you see? Like, kind of weird markings. It looks like it comes off when it gets wet, so maybe it's just water. I don't know. But that's the other one that I've crossed off. For the Andron Patriciae. The next Philodendron on my list was uh, Philodendron Billetier, which I did also cross off. So here is my Billetier, another one that actually needs a drink. <laughs> but my husband Steve put me this for our 10 year anniversary, 10 year anniversary together, not married, <laughs> um, back in March last year. And it's, it's definitely put out a few different leaves with me. I can't remember which ones, but what I do like is that they have, pretty much all of them, have started facing the front. So there's not really any around the back anymore, which I'm really, really pleased about. They all should just be a little bit perkier. 
like up a little bit more <laughs> because it should be it shouldn't be dehydrated but it is classic me so this is the newest leaf which you can probably tell because it's lighter and then there's this one here that's pushing out but another philodendron that i crossed off of my wish list so next there are a couple of philodendron that i didn't cross off my wish list including the variegated mykins didn't get it and like i would like it i'm not massively fussed about getting it to be honest i think like i would like it but i'd like a plant of it not just like a cutting if that makes sense and then the next one was philodendron glorious and in the video i spoke about how i like my gloriosum like the shape of the leaves and the texture but i don't like that it's a crawler and i wanted a climber and the glorious is climber i still feel very much the same however my gloriosum has had a little bit more love from me this year and it's looking okay i'm not interested in adding the glorious to my collection anymore i don't think if you know i happen to come across one at like a plant swap or something then i wouldn't say no but i'm not going to be actively seeking out a philodendron glorious the next one on my list is philodendron majestic which was another one that i got so i can't remember if i did this on camera or not but i've chopped it up recently <laughs> But in my wishlist video, when I showed the Philodendron Majestic that I wanted, it was a picture of Michaela's, who is Please Send Node on Instagram. And this was actually a cutting of hers. And that was the, I think that was the original leaf it came with. Um, I still love it as much as I did then. It just, I didn't look after it very well in terms of keeping on top of the moss pole and it got a bit leggy and I really want a bushy one. So I've propagated it. Here are all the leaves grown in my care. I love that one so much. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to pop these all back in and get one heck of a big, bushy, beautiful, majestic. But yeah, cross that one off my wish list too. Next on my wish list were we, we're going into the Anthurium category now. And the first one was an Anthurium Luxurian Velvety hybrid. And I did actually cross that off of my wish list in the form of seeds and seedlings. And I did actually get a Anthurium Luxurians from Equigenera, but just the normal Anthurium Luxurians. Seeds I bought from Michaela, please send notes. Hers was a Luxurians crossed with a No ID Anthurium, but it was quite a velvety leaf Anthurium. I definitely did cross that one off my list. They're just tiny. Um, the next one was Anthurium King of Spades or Hugh. HU, I'm not sure how the pronunciation of that is. Didn't cross that one off my wish list. Still very much would like one of those. <laughs> Fingers crossed for this year. Um, the next one was Anthurium corrugatum, which was one that I was really questioning why it was on my wish list when I was looking through that video. <laughs> like when I was, sorry, when I was filming that video, I was looking at my list and being like, why is that on here? It's really gross. <laughs> but I got it. <laughs> And honestly, I love it. <laughs> I love it. This was another Equigenera um, Impor. It is a very, very thirsty Anthurium, which you probably know, I'm not very good at keeping on top of my watering, so we don't get on that well, but I love it. I love it so much. Like this texture is just phenomenal. Let's see proof that it dried out. <laughs> How amazing! Look at that sinus! Oh, I love this plant so much. There's actually three pups in here, but um, these two have struggled more because they're obviously tiny and I've let it dry out. But I love this plant. Like, is it not beautiful? And then the backs of the leaves, they're like a bit fuzzy. Like, it's just so cool. It's so cool. The white stuff looks weird. I think that's probably just like deposits from fertilizer. But is that not a cool leaf? I might keep that one out so I can take a photo for Instagram. Might actually post a photo. <laughs> Next up on the list, Anthurium Night Queen, which is a papilla laminum crossover lux. Uh, did not get that. 
would still really love that because that is a beautiful hybrid maybe one day and then following that was an anthurium vicii which i didn't get and i'm not really sure why because they're definitely more readily available but didn't get it would would be really happy to have that in my collection so you know maybe this year next was diasporia spe species borneo which gang it arrived this morning look i purchased these two cuttings on new year's eve so it counts as a 2023 plant even though it arrived in 2024 <laughs> crossed it off my wish list on the very last day of 2023 how cute i love them <gasps> i'm so excited to have these in my collection and i'm even more excited after kind of looking through my 2023 wish list because i'd forgotten that when they get bigger their leaves get really dark very excited to have that one so next on the list was a dioscoria discolor which i also crossed off this is actually really not looking that happy though um you can see some like crispy edges again i think it's dried out at the same time there are new leaves coming in so i'm hoping i can make it a bit happier I do just need to stay a bit more on top of the watering, but another one that I crossed off my wish list. The packs are so good. Next on the wish list was an Alaphaglossum metallicum, which I crossed off. I'm really glad I'm filming this video today because so many of my plants are thirsty, but here she is, my Alaphaglossum metallicum. So this is actually three plants that I, I got from Equigenera. I thought I was ordering two, like a uh, get one and a just in case one, and I accidentally ordered three, <laughs> but they are all potted in here all together and I love it. I love it. It's such a beautiful plant and it is growing. I was, oh, I was really concerned that I wouldn't be able to make it grow. And like, I still can't really see any roots particularly. But this little section at the front here, these are all grown in my care. And I noticed after pulling it out, that there's another little frond just here, growing. So it must be at least a little bit happy. I definitely need to give it a drink, but beautiful, beautiful fern. Whew, I need to wrap this video up because it's getting hot. And the rest of my wish list I did not get. So there was a Syningia leucotrica, is that how you say that? I still do really want that plant. I, I really, this year, like Caldex plants in general, I would like more of them and that's definitely one of them. And then I had Alocasia Frydeck, the variegated form, didn't get that one, would really like to add it to my collection still. The prices are dropping a bit more so this year, I reckon this year will be the year. And then I had like a group of plants, jewel orchids. And at the beginning of last year, I was having a bit of a moment with jewel orchids and that moment has passed. I can appreciate the ones that I've got. They are beautiful, but I'm not interested in buying loads of different types of jewel orchids anymore. <laughs> so let me just double cut count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ten out of 20. That's not bad. That's not bad. I haven't yet finalised my wish list for this year, so I'm not going to include that in this video. I was hoping to, but I just I haven't quite managed to do it, and I wanted to film this video today. And my actual wish list will probably come out maybe nearer, maybe near the end of January. I mean, to be fair, I did my 2023 wish list video in March last year, so <laughs> I am. Um, I'll be earlier this year with my 2024 wish list video. I've got, I'm nearly ready to film it. Maybe like next week it'll come out, who knows? But yeah, I'm really quite pleased. And I've actually really enjoyed this process because like before last year, I mean, I started my YouTube channel in 2022. So last year was like the first year that I had to do like a wish list video for a year. It's quite nice to be able to look back 
see what I got, see what I didn't, also see how my tastes change, like Jewel Orchids, Glorious. Just not interested in adding those to my collection at all anymore, but there are definitely, there are definitely some more plants that I want. There are still some from that wish list that I still want. And yeah, I'm excited to see this time next year what the reflection is, what plants I got in 2024, and where my taste is in plants then. Are there any plants that you had on your wish list that you didn't get, but you're glad you didn't get? Are there any that you had on your wish list that you did get in 2023? Let me know in the comments. If you know of any plants that you think I should have on my wish list that you don't think I will put on there, please let me know. Like, I'm definitely having a weird and wonderful plant phase right now. So if there are any plants that you have in your collection, you're like, this is a weird plant, I reckon Amy would like it. Let me know. Not that I need my wish list to be any longer because it's already quite long, but you'll see that in an upcoming video. <laughs> Subscribe if you're not already, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye. Second video filmed today, on a roll. Right, let's tidy up the mess.